counting down the days to Will and Kate's arrival in the U.S. on Friday. The couple took part in a street hockey game in Canada yesterday, but William just couldn't score, even after he asked the goalie there to let the shot in. So it was Kate who stole the show, dropping the ceremonial uh, first ball in this street hockey game in an elegant Maylene Berger bullet dress as style watchers continue to ask that burning question, what will Kate wear? Susan Kelly is behind the blog, WhatKateWore.com. Good morning, it's good to see you. Hi, Chris. We are obsessed with her. Why? I think for a variety of reasons. I think more than anything, people are looking for a more traditional, more classic look from a, a celebrity. I think people have become a little tired of the blinged out, over the top, uh, half naked, styles that we see a lot of the time now on people that are considered celebrities. And the thing is, she looks so beautiful being a classicist. And, and not only that, but she's repeated dresses from the past on this trip. She wore that uh, white suit from her engagement photo on the day she wore that maple leaf hat that was so cool. The navy uh, print dress she wore the day before her wedding. Is that a faux pas or is it actually what's making her so relatable? I, I think it's not a faux pas at all. I think it's very much a wise move on her part. I think it sends a very good message in a fashion sense. I think, it, I think it sends a very good message in terms of the monarchy and the royal family, that this is someone who has a sense of frugality, that she is thrifty, that we don't need to put on a new ensemble every time we go out the door. But she also has a sense of time and place, that hat being worn on a, on a Canada holiday. She wore a great dress by designer Catherine Walker on what would have been Princess Diana's 50th birthday and that was of course one of uh, Princess Diana's favorite designers. She doesn't have a stylist or, or who's helping her with this? Well, I think she's getting some guidance from within the palace. There are people advising both she and William, but particularly Kate, about some things tied to protocol, tied to public image, tied to messaging. But I also think that she is getting some help from people at a couple of upper-end department stores in the UK, in London. There have been multiple reports that she's getting some help from someone at Selfridges in terms of a personal shopper. And if she wasn't familiar with some of the labels, for example, Smythe or Erdem, labels with French ties, Canadian ties, that would send a good message in terms of the country she's visiting, then they certainly would have given her some input on that and let her know about those designers. You know, it doesn't hurt that she's tall and leggy and beautiful. Uh, you know, she, she, she looks like a model. Let me ask you really quickly, uh, what are we expecting when she comes to the U.S.? We're expecting, hopefully, an American designer or two. I think she will stay with British labels for the most part, but I, I would like to think we might see something perhaps from Tom Ford, perhaps for the big gala dinner. Uh, she sat with him, or he sat with her more accurately, <laughs> at the benefit dinner for the ARC, uh, big celebration last month, and he would be a good choice. I also think there are a myriad other designers, Millie, Kate Spade, Mark by Mark Jacobs, there, there is a host that she can choose from. And the site is WhatKateWore.com. Susan Kelly, thank you so much for being with us. Wild dash cam video from a police cruiser. It's